How's everyone? I look wet? I know, right? Thank God for coffee. How's everyone's WonderCon? Yeah, well, I, I haven't had a chance to even hit the main floor yet. No, 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 no. no. I'm a, I've been a comic fan since I was a little kid, so this is my first Wonder Con, though, which is wild because I grew up in Claremont, so this is the closest con to me, but uh, it's my first time doing Wonder Con. But, you know, San Diego, New York, and Paris, I've done. This is my first. I live You live in Rancho? Yeah. Get out. All right, we're neighbors, man. So, what can you tell us about? Well, I can see, I, 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 yeah, if I full answer that question, I'd be, I'd probably get fired. Um, but I, I can say, I mean, I think while we see him moving on, uh, you know, there's that the, the video of him, you know, kissing the girl, the unknown girl, while they're playing Jenga. You know, I think, I think he's making the effort to try and move on. How sincere that is, it, it, you know, is, is anyone's guess. Um, because he was with her for eight years. Years, and he was ready to be married to her. So I mean, that he loves her. So, and the fact of how well he has handled the fact that like she just up and like ended things, like no explanation. He has been a prince. Like I, I try to think like if that happened to me, I'm like I would be devastated. But I'd also be super angry because that that's that's really like it's a cold thing to not explain to like to leave someone wondering why is a really cold thing to do. You know. Yeah, which I was so happy to see that because it's like, come on, you guys. He, I, I get that I want him to be charming, but like, it's gotta be real, you know. And if he had just kissed, that's awesome. If he had just <laughs> kissed her, you know, and been like, oh, it's like, no, man. The last six months have been hell for you, and you're just gonna like. I like that they kept that real. Yeah, it's because it's, it's a super cruel thing to do, you know, and especially because he asks, like, are you drunk? And, you know, and she says no, so assuming she's sober, it's like, wow, that's just, that's really twisted behavior, you know? Um, how long do you think it'll take, or do you think that uh, Sarge will ever figure out what happened? Uh, how long do I think before Major will figure out? You said Sarge, yeah, it's all right. That, that's that's actually that's, that's funny. Um, you know, I think I, I think one of the things that keeps the show interesting is him not knowing. You know, I think the less people that know her secret, the better, because that means she has to keep more secrets from more people, which is always you know makes for more tension, is more interesting, and. Um, but I, I, I'm. I, I would like to see. I would like to see that. I would like because I'd like to know how. You know, how's Major going to react? You know, is he going to continue to be that like always understanding sweet guy, or is he just going to you know freak out? I mean, because there's a lot of different ways that could go. Like there is a version where he's like, ah, well, it's really unfortunate, but you're kind of my soulmate. You know what I mean? But I think there's also. Uh, a, a, a very strong chance that, you know, besides the fact like, ew, you eat brains and you're undead, he's also just like, no, well, you know. And him not knowing makes him an outsider, and do you think that fits kind of also sort of like the theme where a lot of the characters are outsiders in their own ways? Hmm. That's interesting. I mean, how, how, how so? Well, because he's out of the loop, so he's an outsider mm -hmm. in that sense. Liv feels like an outsider because he can't connect with anyone. And then you know, like, he's a police officer, which is the new guy at work, so he's also an outsider. Well, that's really interesting. I, I've never heard it put that way. But, th yeah. Um, and then it, it absolutely does help, it help keep him as an outsider because, you know, because he's he's in the dark about that, unfortunately, it, it alienates him, you know? And he's left just wondering what happened. And what we're going to start to see, though, going forward is, um, you know, we're kind of... We're in the process of major changing lanes. 
and going from being the, you know, doting ex-fiance to, you know, what, who he is without Liv. Like, what's his life without Liv? And, you know, and we, that starts with what he does. And he works at the shelter with these kind of at-risk teenage kids in the foster system. And, and that's, you know, uh, so that, that's kind of where things start because a couple of these kids go missing. And the police aren't really looking into it. And, you know, as a caring guy he is, he, he starts to look into it. And uh, it leads him to some, you know, pretty disturbing, dark places. The second half of the season for Major is a 180 from, like, episode 13. He, it's unrecognizable from episode 1. Like, it's it's awesome. As an actor, it was so much fun. So much fun to get to play, like, where we got him to. Thanks so much. Yeah. Panel time. Sorry, you got it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you all. Have a good one. Thank you.